Australia as a nation has to do something about climate change. Queensland and the states by this federal government. Minister, just to be clear, every single state wanted the emissions obligation. Every back. single state was in unison regarding emissions. We were told that South Australia and Tasmania were not on board. Every single state has supported the NEG previously. Every single state wanted to see something done. The only consistent voice against climate change and against emissions reduction is and has always been the uh, federal government. Under Abbott, under Turnbull, under Morrison, it's always been the federal government blocking sincere action on climate Most change. Most states had to be, like, it didn't sign up into the, to the neg until the very last moment um, and weren't supportive particularly of it throughout the negotiations. Do you think our states now regret having not actually uh, come out and supported the Turnbull policy earlier because then maybe we'd actually have um, some policy in this area? All states were signed up to the NEG. We all supported the NEG. We gave a considerable amount of time to the NEG. I gave months and months working on that, that, that NEG policy to make sure we drove down emissions and also uh, drove down, kept down with pressure on power prices. We had it all set up for the Australian nation, all working for our states driving down or keeping, power, keeping downward pressure on power prices for every Queensland family. That was my aim. And yet now, today, the federal government has made it that much harder. As I understand it, New South Wales had an actual proposal on the table that, that they asked for ministers to agree to. What happened to that? Is there a vote or anything like that? Or was it... Oh, completely blocked by the federal government. Completely blocked by Angus Taylor. He has no interest in emission control, no interest in climate change. And yet the whole world knows that climate change is real. Blocked how? Did they refuse to even discuss it? They refused to even discuss it. What's Thank you. What's your concern about the default price? Our uh, well has been introduced would drive up power prices, and I'm talking about Queensland families, would drive up power prices for Queensland families up to 30%. You know, what's needed is uh, what states have proposed, again, is uh, a reference price or a comparison price. The uh, AMC report, you don't need me to say that, but the AMC report simply suggested that power prices would increase under a Commonwealth pushed default offer. Well, it wasn't a very pleasant meeting. Where to from here now? Well, the states will continue uh, to work together to address climate change. It's great to see that all states will be on the same page with this. No matter if uh, uh, whatever political flavour you are, we'll be working together because climate change is real for this nation. It's up to the federal government to do something about it and to concede they must have action on climate change. And just finally, did you agree to the reliability obligation? Uh, we agreed to the reliability obligation. Thank you. Thank you. Queensland Energy Minister Anthony Lynham there after what he describes as an unpleasant COAG meeting. He was criticising the federal government for blocking the wishes by all states and territories, saying the federal energy minister Angus Taylor has no interest in emission control and refused to discuss it at today's meeting. Quite often after these COAG conferences, all state and territory ministers and the federal minister will sit there side by side, but it sounds as though the big issues were not agreed upon and we'll continue to bring you other reaction from the other ministers if and when they step up there in Adelaide this afternoon.